musical history. I'm like the second musician in the family. My dad did it for the fun of it, but it happened to turn into a career for me. And like a lot of star jazz musicians used to come through the camp and do a residency there. So we got to see a lot of people who we wouldn't have been able to see otherwise to come through and say, all right, we're going to help the kids and give back a little bit. So it was always a cool experience and something to look forward to, like, man, I hung out with Wynn Marcellus and he told me if I kept practicing and kept playing, I could be like him, you know? So it was kind of a cool, the camp was a real cool thing. Like where I grew up, the guys who I looked up to, they had all the money, it was like drug dealers. You know, they had all the women, all the cars, the big house, the money, you know? So it always, had me thinking in the back of my mind, well, maybe I should be being like one of them, because that's who I see have all the money. That's who I see that doing everything, you know, got a nice house, got a nice car, got everything that the American dream is supposed to be. But I just want to give them a mentor to look up to besides that person. You know, like, that's my biggest thing, because if you take a kid that's learning and mind is still open to everything and you show them that they could do something different from what everybody else is doing and be successful at it because you doing it and you being successful at it. Then they give them something to look forward to. All right, y'all give it up for it one time. When I see a person that I could, if I could change their life for the better, then I'm gonna do it. I tend, I tend to take my own approach because growing up, I had a lot of teachers that were teaching jazz that wouldn't let me do funk, or uh, teachers who were teaching me funk wouldn't let me do jazz, and I just didn't understand why when it was all music. And like a lot of my teachers always put restrictions and limitations on what you can do, when you can do it, where you can do it. But I'm the kind of person like, if I feel like doing rock today, I'm going to do rock. If I want to do funk, I'm going to do funk. If I want to do some traditional jazz straight ahead, that's what I'm going to do, you know? And all our friends that played rock music was telling us not to, not to listen to jazz. So all of us was like torn in between the two, like, what do we do? So we were like, man, forget them and forget them. We're going to put it together. Do it That's the kind of effect I'm hoping to have on people through mixing and throwing all this stuff together. Just, it's all music, you know? That's the only point I'm trying to prove, is that just because you see a trumpet, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be just jazz, you know? Because that's the first impression that people get from it. to put the trumpet down and start rapping and you know I'm, I'm just it's all about music to me man you know all right y'all hear that that's a classic 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 New Orleans groove 90 percent of the songs you play in New Orleans like when you're playing actual New Orleans traditional jazz or second line music gonna use that beat all right what's up you had a question all right 
Y'all got that? You can't actually learn New Orleans music in school. You have to actually get out and do it with people who have done it. It's not a book on it. It's not written anywhere. It's just something that you actually have to do with others in order to be able to do it. And I feel like doing that with younger kids and they get a piece of it and then it, it, it evolves and turns into something different every time. Like by the time these kids start playing, it's gonna be in a whole nother place from where it is now. I just like leaving my little stamp saying I helped and then I'm cool. I did my part, I did as much as I can do for myself. Mama didn't say that jumping hurts her, yeah. No, no, no. But I do care what my mama say. I'm gonna play this trumpet anyway. She bought it, she paid for the lessons, it's the least I can do. This is my weapon of choice, not a gun, you know, not a knife not anything violent. This is my weapon, and if you stand next to me with my weapon, you know, I'm gonna have to cut you up a little bit. <laughs>